Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a quick guide, very basic, uh, on how to manage your fan on your computer if you want like more performance, more FPS, and how to do that. First of all, I want to mention you can manage your fan in different way. A lot of people is using the software that's coming with your main board. Sometimes they're not very great, they're not reliable. A second way that you can do it is using your BIOS and also in the BIOS normally you can manage all your fan. I kind of like that but the thing is when you want to modify something quick you need to restart your computer, go to your BIOS, modify, apply and go back to Windows. Uh, but it's a good way when you know which kind of setting that you want to use and it's static just go to your BIOS and apply it. Also, you have uh, third-party software that I like to use. So this one is Argus Monitor. It's not free. I think you have a trial for like 30 days. And after that, uh, it's still working, but you will have some kind of pop-up when you restart your uh, computer for like 10 seconds. And uh, also, you can use Fan Control. This one is completely free, uh, but uh, less feature than the Argus, Argus sorry, Monitor. So the first thing that you want to do when you use a software like this, I'm going to go to the main board and the fan control, it's to identify your fan. As you can see, I have a lot of different fan technically that I can plug in my mobile. But the thing is, sometimes the way you set up your computer or the way you may maybe miss set up your computer, you can have some fan at zero RPM like this. I'm going to show you uh, how to, to, to use that. So the first thing that you need to do, look at your RPM over there and uh, make sure that you know what fan are doing what so in my case this one is my back fan it's an exhaust so what you want to do for example you go fix value put it at 100 press apply and now you see which fan going crazy at 100 percent so you know which one is one so in my case i know which one is one so it's pretty good but you see my fan two over there it's my two big 200 millimeter fan in front of my case uh, that uh getting a lot of fresh air to my computer they are at zero uh, RPM, but it's still working when I'm moving this. It's probably the way it's plugged in. It's not necessarily directly in my uh, motherboard, so I don't have any control on it. But this one is working, so I just don't see the RPM for this one. So normally what I recommend to do, you have two ways uh, that you can manage your fan pro properly. So in my case, I have an IO, so I have a pump with two uh, fan. So the first thing, if you have an IO, your pump definitely use fixed value at 100%. You want your pump uh, going like crazy, moving those liquid uh, faster. And after that, your fan, you're going to make sure that it's cooling it properly. So definitely always put your pump at 100%. So for the fan on my IO, I really recommend to use the curve control. Go to your curve, edit curve. And this is pretty much where you will set your curve. If you want to be more aggressive to have like better boost clock, uh, because uh, you know now a lot of like algorithm on uh, the CPU work with your thermals. If you have good thermal, it will boost a little bit higher. So for an example, at 60 degrees right now, my fan are running at 55%. So you definitely can be more aggressive. Some people like to do it flat over there until like 50. And after that, they're going very aggressive. So definitely do some testing. It really depends on do you care about airing your fan or not. Uh, in my case, I really like the way I did my setup. So this is pretty much it. And they are based on my CPU cores. You can also use other uh, variable like numbers uh, if you want to change your uh, curve control. So this is a way you can set up it. Even if you don't have a pump, you just have a fan on your CPU. I still just recommend go with your curve control. Do a curve for your CPU. As I said uh, a little bit earlier, I'm currently running fixed value on my static fan, the one that intake like fresh air and the one that exhausts my hot air. But uh, also you can use curve control everywhere. You can just set up a curve and use the same curve for all your fan, maybe except for your pump that you still want to use at 100%. So in that case, when you will play a game, everything will go faster for your fan. And if you're just idle or just like, do something in your windows your fan will go lower i know a lot of people like to do that me i prefer to just go with static for my intake and exhaust and what control my cpu i like to use the curve control so really question of preference also i can show you some other option that you can do also make sure sorry just before just save your profile and make sure that you always use the profile and make sure also that you always run your software so you can say 
when you boot your computer, uh, open Argus monitor automatically. So you will have always your uh, same fan control in the same profile. Also, what I like with the software is the RGB uh, setting over there why did i start to using argus monitor it was because of the nzxt uh, kraken software they had like some kind of bug that was uh causing a lot of issue with your fan even the pump on the io so uh and i didn't want to like use another software because i want to control my uh, rgb but with this software you get all your rgb element and you can change them over there you can even change the speed the direction and stuff pretty crazy what you can do with this software also, I can show you some other stuff. So you have the uh, smart over there, all your information that you need to do. Even your hard drive temp, GPU, CPU. You can see a lot of different options, honestly. I really like the software. Your fan speed over there for all your different fan. Temperature also. So really cool stuff that you can do. I really recommend this one. And just in general, the way I show you to set up your fan it's the best practice to make sure that you're getting the best performance on your computer. So if you have any question, guys, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me uh, any question about like fan control or what you want to achieve. Also mention me, first of all, the software that you want to use, your computer, CPU, GPU, RAM, even your case, it can help me a little bit with your airflow. Make sure that you have a proper airflow also. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.